<laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Of all the days to sleep in, the hottest day of the year so far, it is about five minutes to nine o'clock in the morning. It's already 80 degrees. Gonna be a hot one. Forecast says 106 for today. We'll see what happens. I gotta get out of here, because I'm already wasting away the daylight. I got stuff to do today. I gotta go down to Clovis, get some business taken care of, and, uh, oh, there's a nice breeze. That feels good. And uh, pop into my parents' house, check my mail, this and that sort of thing. And after that, who knows? Thinking I'm going up into the Sierras. We'll see what happens. That's the most likely event. Unless as the day's going, it gets too late. I'm not driving up the four lane when it's over 100 degrees out. Uh, <laughs> Just not putting my van through that. in here at Love's filled up the tank only I know it sounds crazy to say only three dollars seventy nine a gallon for the cheap stuff here at Love's Love's is quite often the cheapest place you're gonna find but you're kind of few and far between only off of highways and whatnot this nice one here I like to stop at north of Madeira cheapest gas around 379 filled up topped it off and we're heading south. So I popped here into my parents' house for a couple hours, upload some videos, have some lunch with the folks, some nice Jersey Mike sandwiches. And you know, I was talking to my good friend Bob of Bob and Dorinda fame, and I was mentioning to him, first of all, that I would like to go up to Huntington Lake, and I was thinking about doing that today. And uh, he mentioned he had been thinking about doing the same thing, but then it occurred to him that Today is Monday, Memorial Day, and probably not the best time to head up there. So I think I am going to heed his advice and head up there first thing in the morning. I did get kind of a late start today sleeping in and uh, got in here to Clovis just around 11 or so, just in time to upload a video, so there was one. And it's getting warm. It's about... 99 degrees right now at 1 30 p.m not going to get any cooler and i don't think i want to shoot up the four lane in 102 degree weather so what else happened today while i was on the phone with bob is that dorinda has had some health problems recently a bit of a health scare 
She was in the hospital for a short period and is now in a hospice care center um, awaiting certain tests uh, and whatnot to be returned. Um, I'm not exactly sure what is going on and I don't want to say stuff without actually knowing 100% what's happening with her um, specific condition. Um, I know in the morning tomorrow she's going back to the hospital to get some tests run to see if the antibiotics or whatever medicine she's on is working and if not then they got to figure out if there's some kind of procedure they need to do moving forward. Anyways, Bob said, she is at this hospice center here in Clovis and that while you're not allowed to go inside the hospice center, woo, sweat beading up. You can't go into the hospice center because of all the COVID protocols. They do have windows that face the parking lot and apparently Dorinda's window faces right to the parking lot and you can go right up to it and do what they call a window visit. So he said, head over there whenever I'm available. And she would love to see me and I would love to see her, of course. So I am gonna take this opportunity while I got nothing else doing today and it's still not peak heat yet. I'm gonna shoot over to the hospice and see if I can't pay my friend Dorinda a little visit, maybe cheer her day up a little bit. Tell you what, sitting here at a stoplight with the sun pounding down on me, I'm reminded of when I used to ride a motorcycle full time here in Fresno during the summer heat. You'd be stopped at these stoplights, it would be the worst. Wearing, you know, full leather. I always rode with a jacket, didn't matter what the weather was. I was always gonna wear that jacket just in case. You hit the road, <laughs> you need a little protection between the asphalt and your skin. <laughs> I don't miss those days at all. I do miss the motorcycle and having that freedom to ride around. It's a lot of fun, but I don't miss the heat. Off we go. Well, that's pretty cool. Now the hospice is not open. You can't get inside unless you're wearing a hazmat suit, but they got these windows right here. That's Dorinda's right there. And the hospice is very aware that people need to be visited, you know, to keep that mental positivity, you know. You can get very depressed just, you know, being in ill health and spending a lot of time by yourself in a room. And so they put the room number's right there out on the windows. Anytime you want to come by and visit somebody, you can just pop right in. And I had a great little phone conversation through the window with Dorinda, just catching up, catching up on her condition, catching up on her just regular life. They moved into a new place. We talked about how grateful she is to have the new place and it's all set up and she can't wait to go back to her new decorated castle as she calls it. I am heading up to Huntington Lake tomorrow and she wanted to warn me that she read an article in the Fresno Bee today, which I have to look up, and it was talking about that the Forest Service up in the Sierras is not messing around this summer and they are going to be heavy with the fines if you're camping in undesignated areas, if you're hiking on trails that aren't open or in unmarked areas, they're hitting you with heavy fines in the thousands of dollars. So I wanna be aware of whatever the rules and regulations are before I go up there. I do not wanna be caught with my pants down, so to speak. Another thing she mentioned was, or she asked me like, have I been by where her old cabin was, the old 
railroad station, the Shaver Crossing Station, the only remaining station of the San Joaquin and Eastern Railroad. It, well, I should say it was the only remaining station of the San Joaquin and Eastern Railroad before it was destroyed by the Creek Fire of last year. Just around the end of summer last year, that fire ripped through Big Creek, Huntington Lake, took a lot of casualties with it as far as homes, structures, forest, lots of forest, hundreds, thousands of acres burnt. And she said nothing left where her cabin was and that they're not gonna rebuild because you know it's forest service land and then they gotta jump through hoops with permits and this and that. And forest service isn't always super hip, especially in that area on new structures going up. Um, but she said they had a lot of great memories up there and they're glad that they had those. They're never gonna be able to rebuild what they had there before, it's impossible. Um, and I asked, well, could you go up there and throw tents, camp out over the weekend? She said they plan to do that when she's in better health. She also mentioned that they planted a small baby sequoia or a spruce, I forget what it was. And she asked me if I could water it when I go up there. So I'm gonna do that. She said, you won't be able to miss it. It's the only green tree anywhere in sight. And I'd been meaning to roll through the area of Big Creek. I just wanna see what's left, what it looks like, how it's recovered, how it's still recovering. I don't know what I'm into. I haven't been up there in almost a year, well, probably about nine months. And it was right uh, about five days before the big, big old fire ripped through there that I left uh, the mountain area just right before the fire started. So I haven't been back there since. I've been kind of worried about going back. A lot of good memories up there. I did go to Shaver Lake area a couple months back. And of course I put up a video about that. And that video is very interesting to me because I've got a lot of responses, a lot more views than I expected on that video because I think people really wanna know what's doing up there. How's it look? Is it open? What's open? And you know what I heard is open? Cressman's gas station, the famous infamous gas station, right up there as you're, you know, at the top of the four lane, getting up into those mountains before Shaver Lake. Cressman's gas station is now open. Pumps are open 24 seven. And I heard that their store is operating out of a shipping container. So last time I was up there, it was all closed down and they were still working on it. I would like to see that. And I would love to get to the Huntington Lake area and see what the reality of the situation is there as far as what's burnt, what's not, what's gonna be open this summer, what's not gonna be open. I have no idea and I can't wait to check that out. But that'll be tomorrow, starting off bright and early. Yeah.